respawn. Here we are. Now this will probably be the most uh, the life that we get a lot of stuff done with. Damn. I was hoping it wasn't going to go out in time, but it did. Um, now we have to make fire again, guys. Woohoo. Fill our kindling up. We're going to use our new trick that we learned. Probably take a basket, too, now that I think about it. We're going to take a basket with us as well. We're just looking for curved branches. I'm wondering if you can do it with you too. You probably can. I move this so it can respawn. Let me go ahead and use the one we have here. I can't believe I didn't think about this before. Sometimes early game, getting a tender one by or one branch at a or yeah one branch at a time is very frustrating. But with this, you I mean I'm carrying like five back to the base right now. Look at all of this. Catch it. Huh. Um. Catch it vanish? And if it fell behind something. That's interesting. Where is it? Backpack? No. Well, I think my hatchet might have despawned, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Here for some reason? Oh well. Uh, let's make another one. That's that's strange. Watch, I'll find it again later, but that's really weird. And we end up wasting rope because of it. That's not all. I'm gonna find it right after I make this. Let's see. Nope, don't see it anywhere. Is that it down there? Nope. Oh well. No idea. It poofed. Grab some tender, grab a leaf. And we're gonna make some more charcoal. This is mainly what smithing is. It's, there's a lot of charcoal uh, making involved. Like we have another thing we can make a lot of, but because we don't even have all we're really gonna have time for is to heat. Heat our tools and by the time they cool much time to do anything else. Like this. You know, oh, it's gonna go out right in front of us. Like this. We're gonna light that. We're gonna heat 
this tool. Go ahead and make an axe head. This one. I think we'll make a fro blade probably. Let's see. But I feel like actually ads will be good. We can ads. Now we need some long branch. You can technically make three tools. Um, you just need another flat rock. Uh, but I don't feel like I don't feel like making three tools per time. Uh, you don't get to see as much. You're having to move extremely fast to actually do all of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and store our heads over here. I'm gonna make some more of these. It makes more charcoal really fast. Ah, those fires go out so fast. Actually, going to make this actually fast. Get some firewood to add to that. for this to go cooled. Now with this one, we'll make a furrow blade. Let's see what we need left. We're gonna need a file, also a chisel. Let's go ahead and make those, and we might have enough time to hammer out a iron. We'll do that first. Grab this iron. We're gonna hammer it out to a uh, iron bar. A file blank. That's a file blank. Wait, this thing to cool. Now we're gonna need some straight branches. Actually, go ahead and make some. Uh... Let's 
Make it a little bit more charcoal. Oh, we've got this rope fire going here. fire making stuff down Let's see. Firewood. Let's get some straight branches. This place has not a lot to go on. It's Curve Branch Central, but very many straight branches. Our milkweed's growing back. Can adds one more straight branch to make our fro. to make a bow and arrow. I need a U. I'm probably just gonna steal this one U branch over here since I've made the majority of mine into kindling. It's kind of already already whittled it whittled it a tiny bit. right there. Selves a bow. Or rock. Damn it. I hate that they can change and you can't click off. Oh well, we lost one of our, uh... One of our, uh, milkweeds. It's a... Hint, which I'm sure I broke one. Okay. 
goose. I'm actually gonna kill that goose right there. Look this one. Turn it into fletching. Hero. And I'm going to actually... Pack the goose. Hear it. Skewer. Down. Arrow again. Hanging around. And we wait for that to go out. Oh, we're waiting. I'm going to go ahead and send time. Just going out actually. Okay, cool. We cook our goose, take our goose, and we rub it on our file blank. In an oiled file blank. Then we use the chisel on it. Then we use the hammer on it. That is literally the only use for this chisel. Now we have our file. We can eat the rest of our goose. So yes, I'm going to fire so this iron. Now that I think about it, I probably could have made a crucible and gotten, well, if I can click this. And gotten one crucible done as well, but I don't have the time to do this one. Yep, no time. If I had it pre mode, I would have been able to. up fire up our bridge I don't know why it made us walk all the way around that screwed us this one to cool as soon as it cools we have to take the lid off grab the metal out Grab it and heat it. Now what we want is a blade. Like that. Might be able to actually get more. I'd need more char. I'd need more uh more kindling. Some more charcoal. Oh, this goes out.
blade blanks done we can use the file on it to make it a blade and then again on it to make it a steel saw blade and then we're basically done with our file dump our charcoal out up here take a piece of it make another crucible I'm going to try. I don't think we actually even need anything else. That's that's one thing. Um, we might not actually. Grab a carrot. We're gonna need two curve shafts. I'm actually probably going to steal this fire bow up here just because I don't feel like making another one. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna steal his. I don't know why he made a flint tip thing. That's what we were going to make, but I'll show you how to make it. It's all you do is you make another arrowhead out of your flint chip. Come down here, we're gonna grab another flint chip. That's our shoe. Not a flint chip. <laughs> Set that down. Use our stone on it. Make it a flint chip. And add it to a fire bow. And you're pretty much done on tool. Unless I missed one. I think I missed the shovel. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, let me get this into some kindling really fast. Light this. Light that. Look this. And make our shovel head. Shovel head. Oh wait, no man, we have the mining pick. I forgot about that one. Whoops. I'm glad I went all the way through that. There, shovel head. All right, saved. One leftover steel ingot. If someone decides to make wants to make a knife and kill everyone, they can do that. Go for it. But we don't need that. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and we need a mallet. and grab a straight branch now that I remembered where I'd stockpiled them all. We're gonna go to store our tools. But as you can see, we basically got into the point where now we're just like we've got all our tools. At this point, we are just making our base 
easier to manage. Like making storage, for example. Tools. Clears up a ton of excess clutter. It's one of these baskets. these baskets to store some starve to death because here it's in our backpack our shovel now we have all the tools and at this point of your game I'm going to water my crops and I'm gonna make some more baskets doesn't matter if I've drained that if I drained that pond because it didn't have a goose in it to begin with because I killed it. That's the reason why I killed that one. That's because I tend to accidentally overclick on ponds. The next thing to do will be to build a cart. Um that way we can make baskets more efficient. And I'm actually going to come over here and deforest the crap out of this, uh, out of this swamp biome. Because the swamp trees do nothing right now except, uh, give you wood. that. Now we're going to go tree chopping. Go tree chopping. We're going to hack everything that isn't useful, like all the cypresses and the willows and the pines. Pines are used for one thing, um, but pine walls are very hard to make right now. And there's actually lots of pine trees. One, this helps you find your base easier if you happen to spawn far away or if you're wandering. Uh, two, it also helps you see things. So, like, you'll be able to find things that would have been behind it. Now we need a rope. Hopefully we can make a rope. Move those so they'll respawn. I need to walk back down there in a second. This will be the handle for our cart. We have the rope needed. Go ahead and back back it. I'm probably going to move these over here because we're going to need extra carrot storage. Like always. Gonna go steal a butt log from one of these. 
I killed. Also, a very efficient way to get rid of firewood if you have too many after destroying or deforesting an area is to um, is to go through chop it all to make it into kindling. And once you've done that, you um, once you've done that. You can just run through with a lit uh, short staff or long straight shaft and uh, just light them all. This into a sledge, which you can actually move, and then make it into a cart. Now that we have our cart, I'm actually going to leave our sharps down here. Um, harvest all this. First and foremost thing we need to do. should probably plant some berry bushes to make compost with um, that would be like after I do this and after I make water skins significantly easier to water with it would be making uh, making a berry field for compost Like at this point, it's basically just if you had a tribe or a uh, group of people, you'd just be divvying out things to do. Gonna go. Gotta get this. Wait, no. I forgot. Turpstone. We're gonna go make some baths. Doing basket runs is so much easier with a uh, with a cart. You can bring so many more back. using their stuff. 
let whoever comes in here after what happens to find this place use it. See if we can find any more. Be nice to find. There we go. Now while we're out, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up with fertile soil. One to replace the, uh, the soil that I'm going to I make my seating row. And three to start um, my berry farm. There's the seeds. Swap it for this. Yep, there we go. So I don't like it. And I'm gonna put my berries near water. I'm gonna put them out here. Also near reeds. Need to go and drop this sharp rock because we don't need it anymore. Now we have an extra sharp rock back here. Or how I got one. Place it up here so I can redo. Grab some more fertile oil. And I'm just going to put a basket right here next to the seed row. Put some soil in it. Now we need six berries to turn into seeds. them up here to where our flint is. Go ahead and turn the seeds. I 
tiny little seeds. Not even sure which one has them in it. Leave these two. Plant those. One got a cure in our backpack, so we're okay. You know, we're just gonna set it down, so that's cool too. I'm gonna move some of these bowls over here. I'm actually, gonna move all three. I'm gonna make some water skins in his life. You know why I'm leaving bowls over here. Just fill up a bowl full of berries, dump it on the ground, then you can water it with the same bowl. thing to do would be to go make some more baskets and get some more rabbit skins however I'm not sure I have the health for that Let's see. it's been a while stretch <sighs> Got some rabbit skins here. Um, let's see, three, six, nine, twelve rabbit skins for a full set. Um, I'm going to put these up and get these ready to make into uh into water pouches. I also have to pee extremely badly. I've got that going for me too. I'm on milkweed, waiting for milkweed while I have to go pee, while I'm dying, is uh, is kind of annoying. Take my backpack off in resignation. Come on, move the stick there. care anymore. I gotta pee. <laughs> I can do it myself, but I'm gonna pee. <laughs> Does he have in here? Seeds? Worthless. I'll show you what we're gonna build after this. But first, I need to die, and then I need to pee. Hurry up! Hurry up and die, old woman! second now. 
Actually, I'm going to eat this carrot when I get down to two health bars, and then I should die before I lose anything. I might die before I even lose another one. All right, I got to pee. <laughs>